Hello and welcome to our series of devotions reflecting on how we can humble ourselves before God. Today is Monday the 2nd of November. As we begin, let us still ourselves in a moment of quiet before God. our prayer for this week. O Christ, the master carpenter, who at the last, through wood and nails, purchased our whole salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough-hewn to your bench may be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. We ask it for your own name's sake. Amen. The reading today is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar, the kingdoms totter, he utters his voice, the earth melts, the Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our refuge. Come behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. It's a position to take. If we're going to flourish in difficult times, we need to humble ourselves before God. And the first way we looked at doing that is to take the right position. Being still, as the psalmist declares here, is a good position to take. As we read the rest of the psalm, we notice that there are lots of different things happening in the psalmist's world. There is trouble, change in the earth, the nations are in uproar, wars are clearly a big thing. And yet God is in the midst of them all. We might look at that and think, actually, today sounds very similar. There's a river whose streams make glad the city of God. Now, when we think about a river flowing through a city, such as the Isis going through the city of Oxford or the the same River Thames going through London, we might think of a gentle flowing water, almost calming. You might even say they're kind of still in places. And more than that, these waters make glad the city. Why? Because they're a source of life. I think that speaks to us of being still in God's presence, as one of being life-giving. Notice all the things that are going on. In all those things, God is the one who does the acting. God is in the midst of the city. God speaks. It's God who is the refuge for his people. In verse 8 says, come behold the works of the Lord. See what desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes the wars to cease. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. And so the reason that the psalmist says to be still and know that he is God is because God is the one who is doing the acting. We ought to presume that our actions... Uh, and are busy doing things, are the things that will make the difference. 
it's only God's actions and God's words that have the power to create and make a difference. Our role is to be humble before him, to be still and to know who he is and experience his protection in the midst of difficult times. You know, it reminds me of the story of Mary and Martha in Luke's Gospel. Jesus comes to visit their home and Martha is so busy with all the preparations for everything that she's doing for Jesus and all his his friends coming to, to stay. But Mary, on the other hand, she's just sitting there at the feet of Jesus, being still and listening. So flustered by this was Mary, was, was Martha, sorry, that she demands of the Lord, make her get up and start helping. Jesus gently answers and reveals to Martha the truth of her heart. She is doing all these busy things to fill some sort of void in her life. However, the only thing that's important is being still before the Lord, sitting at his feet and listening. We'll talk about them a bit later on in the week. If we're going to flourish in difficult times, we need to humble ourselves before God. And we can do that by positioning ourselves to be still before him and to know that he is God. difficult do you find it to be still and know that he is God? you do to be still more often? Are there any habits or practices you could adopt? Take a moment now to stop. Allow the Holy Spirit to calm your mind. Give all your worries and problems to God and be still before him. 
Try doing this for short periods throughout the day. And a blessing for us as we finish. The Lord God answer us when we are in trouble. The Lord God be our protector. The Lord God send us help and support from among his people. The Lord remember all our devotion and be pleased with our sacrifice of praise. The Lord give us our heart's desire and prosper our plans. The Lord grant us all our requests when we bow down and worship him. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with us and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>